What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Call of Duty mobile video. So in this video guys, I'm going to be showing you how to get the best settings on your tablet or your mobile device on any device. And I'm also going to be telling you when the Android release is because it's currently only available on iOS. If you want to keep up with the latest Call of Duty news and everything there is to know about the game, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit a like on the video, and turn your notification bells on because I'm going to be showing you in every future video everything there is to know about Call of Duty. Also, I'm going to be doing a huge COD points giveaway. So, make sure you hit the sub and enjoy the video. Let's get into it. Yeah. Baby girl, you're so damn fine, no Wanna know if I can hit it from behind, though no. I'm sipping on you like some fun wine, though When it's over, I press rewind, though Talking bands, I got it Benjamins in my pocket so guys, as you know, since you are watching the video, Call of Duty Mobile is released. It is available on the iOS store right now, and I can say it is coming to Android by the end of today, by the end of the 1st of October, okay? Now the servers are up, so I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. Now this video, like I mentioned, is going to be, like I said, the release of the Android to let you know when that is, and it is going to be... The best mobile settings that I found works best on any device, even your old mobile phones, new mobile phones, tablets, old tablets. Follow these settings and it will boost your FPS for the game. So let's get into it. Okay, so the mobile settings, guys. I'm going to show you, like I said, right now, all of the optimized settings you should be using for Call of Duty Mobile to get the boost FPS and to get the best out of your device. So, this is the settings menu going straight into it. It's going to come up with this control screen uh, first. So, you've got simple mode and advanced mode. Now, in my opinion, if you want to sort of get better at the game and be good, you always want to use advanced mode. Simple mode is for the newer people that have just started playing mobile games that aren't used to it and, yeah, they've Advanced mode is just a lot better. So obviously you can pick between multiplayer and BR mode right now. So we're just going to leave it on multiplayer. Um, so advanced. Now I've got my own custom layout, which I'm using over there. And as you can see, I've got my tablet screen just here. Um, so let's go on to the custom layout. So this is going to look very weird for you guys, but I actually use five fingers. Okay. So I use my finger right here and I use that just above me. That's for crouching and jumping. So that's what I use for that. And I also use my thumb for the controls to move around. Now, my other three fingers, my thumb I use just for uh, weapon swapping, grenade throwing, reloading, picking up guns, planting the bomb. And then to aim, I use my... Um, my middle thumb on my right hand to actually scope in and I use my forefinger to actually shoot the enemies so this is my own custom layout guys feel free to use it if you want to get good at the game um, but that's basically just a little insight on the controls I use so going on to the next tab guys now the basics now you can always just follow my sort of uh, stuff that I've got set out here but I'm just going to talk through them individually so I'm just going to show you the uh, the best I mean, I use multiplayer mode and BR mode. I use the same settings in all of them. So I would highly recommend doing that as well because you really don't want to use, um, obviously, one setting for the multiplayer mode and then have to change your sort of settings for the Battle Royale mode because it would just confuse you and it would it would just get a lot, a lot weird. So um, let's go into it first. So aim assist, I would always uh, predict having on. I've got a lot of people inviting me at the moment. Aim assist, I would always have on. Uh, quick run from prone I would always have on as well that's obviously when you're crouched onto the ground and you're prone you want to be able to get up quickly and run quickly uh, fixed our fire button I um, that's basically your fire button on your right hand side now that wants to be fixed you don't want to sort of have to move it around and it, it, it go all over the place so you always want to have that on um, fast throw grenade I've got on now this basically means if you click the grenade button uh, if you click it with fast uh, throw grenade on, it will automatically throw the grenade straight away. If you've got it off, you press the grenade and it will show an arrow and then you have to release it. It's basically like a press to release button. Um, so I always have mine on because I like to throw my grenade straight away. Uh, joystick auto sprint. That's basically, I'll go back here and just show you what that means. So the auto sprint is just above me here. You'll get a line just above the joystick. Um, and you can hold it up if you want to automatically run. I wouldn't recommend using this because if you actually scroll down a bit, um, go on to always sprint, 
I've always got mine ticked on because you always want to be sprinting in this game. You don't want to have to walk because you will, it'll freeze your character and you always want to have that on. Um, going into it next, the ADS. I always tap for ADS. You can obviously tap and hold whichever your preference is. Uh, the display the left fire button I have off because I shoot with my right finger. Um, sliding while running you want on. You want tap crouch while sprinting because when you're sprinting, um, you tap the crouch button and it'll slide for you. And sliding is a big thing in this game to get away from fire. So you always want to have that ticked. Uh, gyroscope I don't use. The, my camera uh, FOV I have on around 70 because I think that basically it gives you a better zoom in of the game. So you always want to have that around 70. And weapon aim I have off as well because when you're aiming, if you have um, reset weapon aim on, so it's the one just below me, you can't really see here. Uh, reset weapon aim just there. You don't want that on um, because it'll automatically center you and it'll really throw you off when you're trying to shoot enemies. So let's get into the next one. So the next tab, guys, audio and graphics. Now, this will be the biggest one for your devices. Now, obviously, if you've got the lowest device, the best one to use is low graphics. Now, actually having it on low graphics um, isn't too bad. It still renders okay. And again, guys, the low graphics will be optimized for a lot of the low-end devices. So if you've got a low-end device, obviously have it on low. Fiddle around with it. I like to have mine on very high because I'm using uh, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S4 tablet. Uh, the frame rate you always want to have on very high. Now, the only way you want to change this is if your device is a really low-end device. That's the only way you want to change it. But even changing it, you want to keep it on either high or very high. Um, depth of field I have off, bloom I have on as well because that does help in some gunfights. Uh, real time shadow you could always turn off if um, if you want to save your um, well even more sort of graphic um, intensive stuff. So you want to have real time shadows off. I mean you could have bloom off as well um, just to make it a lot better, that little bit extra smooth for you. Um, now BR mode graphic style. So this is for the BR mode. I'm not sure why it's just showing it for the BR mode. I always have mine on realistic. Um, again, any of these are fine. You could switch it to standard. That would maybe help optimize it a tiniest bit more so you could keep it on standard and um, auto, auto adjust the screen just have yours on auto adjust because that makes it a lot easier um, audio again you can fiddle around with your audios you've got everything there you've got voice chat you've got music volume master volume the main thing at this video is basically just the graphics so if you want to follow these sort of settings guys uh, I mean, I could even have mine on low just to just to make it a lot better, but I prefer to have mine on high. Um, but yeah, that's basically the best graphics, I would say, for the game. Now, going into the sensitivity, guys, again, you're going to want to sort of test this around yourself. It depends how many fingers you use, how many thumbs you use. If you want to copy these as well, these are the best ones I find, in my opinion, when I'm playing the game. And I'm pretty good at the game, I would say. You always want to have speed acceleration on, and you want to leave that at default 140. Um, next, the sensitivity presets. You want to have this custom. This means you can change all of these ones. Now, again, feel free to copy these settings, guys. This is what I feel works best. It helps you move around quicker. It helps you shoot quicker. And it helps you ADS quicker as well. So next is firing sensitivity. Again, that exact same so you can just kind of copy these settings um, and then the gyroscope I don't even use so you don't want to mess with them the only ones you want to mess with is the camera sensitivity and the firing sensitivity um, again BR settings you've got right there as well you can change around all of your settings in there I've got mine on again the default settings for the BR because they're all I feel they're all perfect the loot settings are quite good as well because you can um, decide which loot you actually want to pick up over others as well I would just leave this on default because the defaults are actually really good in my opinion um, that so I wouldn't even mess with those myself uh, next you've got quick message again you can fiddle around with this yourself see which preferences are better for you you don't really want to mess with it too much because again the defaults are really good obviously you've got language on English and then you've got other which just means your ID and stuff so again guys that is basically in my opinion the best graphic settings you can use and remember I'm using a Samsung Galaxy Tab S4 so this is one of the best Android gaming tablets at the moment but I do actually have a Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge now the S7 Edge, I've tried the graphics on here as well, and they're similar to these graphics. So, again, 
This game, guys, is fully optimized. All of the updates have been rolled out now. They'll probably be bringing more updates out to optimize it even more, but in its current state, it's fully optimized and it'll work on pretty much any device you choose. So that's basically it. So again, thank you for watching to the end of the video, guys. Again, I am going to be streaming on the full release later on today. So make sure you miss, don't miss on that, out on that. Again, I'm going to be doing a huge COD points giveaway. So you can buy any of the skins you want in the store. Uh, again, I'm probably going to be doing like a 10,000 one. So again, all you need to do is hit the subscribe. Make sure you've got your notification bells on. And if we can get this video up to 500 likes, I'll do a separate COD points giveaway on this video alone so again to keep up with all the latest info guys make sure you are subscribed put your notifications on and i will see you in the next video thank you